What's going on, Badger Nation? My name is Michael Erickson Fasheen, and this is Ad Badger. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our Poor Performers tool. It's one of the most simple and most powerful tools inside Ad Badger. The key benefit here is really to help trim the fat of underperforming keywords quickly to, so that you can reallocate spend towards more profitable keywords. Now, the game plan here is to talk about a big issue that leads to high ACoS. There are many issues, and this helps solve one of them. Uh, and then talk about how Ad Badger helps fix this. So we're going to be ripping the high ACoS to shreds, just like the Badger over here is ripping something to shreds. <laughs> Talking about a high ACoS is one of the most common problems on Amazon, so we have a whole suite of tools to help address that. You know, high ACoS on Amazon, if you were to search it on Google, there's 236,000 instances of people talking about a high ACoS on Amazon. So how do we get here? How do we start a campaign and then eventually end up needing the poor performers tool. Well, it's very natural. You know, you start a fresh, clean campaign. You launch a couple sponsored products, an auto, uh, you do some keyword research, you launch some more keyword campaigns, you launch some product targeting campaigns, some category campaigns. Uh, there's competitor targeting campaigns all on sponsored products. You evolve and expand out to the multitude of sponsored brands, launch sponsored display. In short, I talk to a lot of people that feel as if they just have too many campaigns to really sift and sort through the important information. Here's a particular account. They have 2,117 campaigns. So it's a massive amount of campaigns to sift through and try to find. And what's very difficult about Amazon is that it's difficult to view all your keywords at once in a way that is very meaningful to you. You sort of have to go into campaign to ad group to, to an individual ad group, then you view the keywords of that ad group. And even if you could view all of your keywords all at once, a lot of people have to sift, sort, decipher, a little bit unsure about what they should actually pause. You know, where are the big offenders? So one thing at Ad Badger is that we try to make it so that the Badger does the hard work for you. So imagine if you had an assistant who was able to go through your account and every single day they prepared a list of keywords that it recommended that you pause and it delivered the data to you. That would be a huge time saver. And if you could pause it right from that report, that would also be a huge time saver. So that's exactly what the Badger does for you. It'll scan through every single campaign, every ad group, every keyword and target for all of your ad types and display it here for you. It will then make a recommendation that, hey, maybe you should pause this. So by viewing all the campaign and keyword data in a single table, you save a lot of time, and then you get pre-calculated recommendations on what to pause and when to pause it. Making this process uh, a little bit arduous, you had to schedule time for it, incredibly simple and fast. After using this tool for the first time, we find that most AdBadger users only need to use this tool once, twice a month, and it really saves them a lot of time. They don't longer have to do it manually inside Amazon. So let's actually take a look at how the Poor Performers tool helps save you money. So here I am inside AdBadger, and this is actually a dummy account. So what we're going to look at is we're going to go to the dashboard and it's under bidding trends. And what it's doing right now is it's actually grabbing all of your account level data and it's displaying here for you. So if we actually scroll down, that is where you will find the poor performers section of our tool. And what you can actually see here is that it's suggesting keywords for me to pause. Uh, and if I mouse over this, it says, this table shows you a detailed list of the poorest performing keywords and or targets in your marketplace for the last 30 days. And what we generally recommend our customers to do is basically check this once or twice a month. During our onboarding call, we'll often discuss if you should check this more frequently, but in general, just simply checking this once or twice a month will help you isolate any issues in your account. You can actually pause directly from here as well. So you can see here that this first keyword, omega-3 fish oil, in this particular campaign, in this particular ad group, has spent $142, earned 28 clicks, but has not earned an order. 
Now, AdBadger will bid down this keyword, but even still, uh, it's suggesting this, uh, letting you know that this is an outlier keyword, and we recommend pausing it. Now, the great thing about this from an optimization perspective is that when you pause this, the the $130 that I spent on this will be moved towards other keywords in that particular campaign, making my overall ACoS not just eliminate eliminate this $143 to spend, but it'll actually be reallocated towards the other keywords in that campaign. Ideally, those are performing a lot better. So that is the Poor Performers tool. We have a lot of goals with the Poor Performers tool uh, as well as we get feedback from our customers because we're always listening and we're always improving our tools. Uh, but the Poor Performers tool, just an incredibly powerful and yet very simple tool to help stay on top of the thousands and thousands of keywords that you may have in your account at any point in time. If you're interested in learning more about AdBadger, check us out at adbadger.com. Have a good one, and I'll see you inside the Badger Den.